Serves up SK, I'm Natalie Miller. Can you dig that? Because I'm Maddie Margraff. Been there, dug that. We are two of your volleyball seniors to give you today's WTV show. Okay, before we get into the show, let's throw the show over to Mr. Ogan today for an introduction of our earthquake drill. Good morning, South. Starting WTV a little differently this morning because today is the Great Washington Shakeout Drill. So before we get into details, here's a video about our procedures. The first step we want to take during an earthquake is to drop. At first indication of ground movement, drop to the ground. This is true wherever you happen to be in the building. Getting to the ground will keep you from being knocked down by the shaking. The second step is to cover. Seek protective cover under or near desk, tables, or chairs in a kneeling or sitting position. If you happen to be in a hallway, drop along an interior wall and cover your head and neck with your hands. The final step is to hold. Hold on to the table or chair legs to prevent it from moving. During the Nisqually quake, which happened during our lunchtime, many students panicked and ran out of the building. This puts you at a greater risk of injury due to falling objects. You've all seen the news footage of Seattle when the 6.8 earthquake hit our region on Wednesday, February 28th. But what you haven't seen is the footage from right here in Port Orchard. In filming this episode, our cameras caught the real-life drama and turned our hosts into the unexpected actors. At first, I thought someone just messed with me, like, you know, pushed me around, and all of a sudden, I look over my friend, and his chair's just jumping off the ground, and I ran, ducked under the table, and everyone else was just kind of freaking out. Like, Dumped under our table, we just kind of huddled under there, and then we all just ran out in a panic. After the shaking stops, stand to your desk while your teacher checks for damage. As you probably noticed in the previous clips, the fire alarms were triggered by the shaking of the building. This created some confusion. Do not evacuate the building until directed to do so. The building damage assessment team will need to check stairs and exits for safe passages out of the building. Once given the OK, follow the evacuation route for the class. Remain with your class for roll. Once everyone has evacuated and roll has been taken, you will move with your class to the football field. And once at the football field, you will line up by alphabet. This is important for reuniting you with your parents. During the Nisqually earthquake, parents were here rather quickly, and being in line by alphabet makes it quick and easy for us to find you and, and get you reunited with your parents. So, the game plan for today. We will not be going outside for this drill. At the beginning of the eighth block today, we will play the sound through the PA system of the Nisqually quake. This will be your cue to duck, cover, and hold. And then we will walk you through the rest of the drill on the intercom. Thanks for your attention, and now, on with the show. Thanks, Mr. Ogan. We all learned some valuable information, and everyone, make sure you take it more seriously. All right, Maddie, want to start off the news? Been there, dug that. Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium in Seattle Aquarium will have the fourth annual summit soon. See the Career Center for more information. Homecoming pictures are available for pickup in the main office during non-class time. The Acting Ensemble's first improv night of the year is tomorrow. 6.30 in the theater, $3 with a ticket and $2 with an ASB card. Juniors and seniors, English SBAC retakes will start next week. See Mrs. Wood in the library if you have questions. Need volunteer hours? Orchard Heights is holding a winter carnival and needs help. If you are interested, please contact Orchard Heights PTSO, Gina. <coughs> All boys interested in playing basketball. There is a mandatory preseason meeting next Wednesday at 5 p.m. in the Ox Gym. See Coach Callahan or Coach Cox for more info. Your last photo opportunity is today in the gym foyer during lunches. If you purchased a picture packet and want to retake, be sure to bring your packet to the photo shoot. Lady Bowlers, if you are interested in bowling, please contact Coach Ledeau in the security office. Anyone interested in playing a winter sport needs to have their pink slip in soon to start the winter sport. Go to the athletic office for more information. Seniors, need help filing your FAFSA or WASFA? Come tonight at 6 p.m. in the Career Center. There are two new scholarships available, Voice of Democracy, $1,000 awarded to First in State. LEAP, rise above for Latino seniors, up to $5,000. Be sure to check the scholarship website on the school website or in the Career Center. 
And while we have your attention, here's a deeper look into the It's Your Future Fair. Have you filed your FAFSA yet? No, I don't really know how. It's so crazy to think that college is just around the corner. College, 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 college. Don't forget, tonight it's your future fair from 5 to 7. And now, let's see what sports are competing today and tomorrow. Here is your schedule of events. Good luck to our fellow athletes. And before we get off the topic of sports, here's a sneak peek of our senior night. I hope to see you all there supporting us at our last home match of our high school careers. And before we go, let's see what clubs are meeting. Meeting today is Bible, Art, Everyone's Equality, Journalism, DECA, FCCLA, Spanish, Magic and Trading Card Games, and German. And tomorrow, Builders of Unity and Magic and Trading Card Games will all meet. Another WTV episode served. Tonight at 7. Volleyball Senior Night. Don't miss it. See you on the court, SK.